So tonight I'm making a veggie quiche for dinner and I just wanted to show you real quick what option you can have aside from doing an actual crust. If you don't have time to make a crust, if you don't have a crust available or due to dietary restrictions, this is um, a paleo option that I go with quite a bit. These are sweet potatoes that I have sliced paper thin. Um, obviously there's some that aren't perfectly round. I don't have a mandolin here with me so I've used my knife to cut them really thin. Um, you just grease your uh, pie pan and then layer these in here. You don't want to like stack them on top of each other because they won't cook evenly but it's okay to let them overlap a little bit. So I've got my crust ready. Everything's layered and then I went ahead and sprinkled a little bit of salt and pepper on there. Um, Okay, so we're going to go over the rest of the ingredients. This really is like a kitchen sink quiche. It's a, good, it's a great way to use up ingredients that you already have, but you don't have enough of to do a different recipe or things that are starting to not go bad, but they're just not as fresh as you'd like them to be. Like these tomatoes right here are getting kind of crinkledy looking. But anyway, I've got a half a cup of tomatoes, these uh, cherry tomatoes that I'm going to chop up. I've got two tablespoons of purple onion. It's already diced. I've got two cups of fresh spinach leaves. I've got some goat cheese crumbles. I'm going to go ahead and throw some roasted red peppers in there just because I'm a huge fan and I love them on anything. This quiche is going to need five eggs. And then your spices, you're just going to need black pepper, salt, powdered mustard, and about a teaspoon of pepper sauce. You can use Tabasco, Chalupa, whatever kind whatever brand you like and I'm gonna go ahead and saute my onions in a tablespoon of butter because I really I don't like crunchy onions in my quiche okay so while you're prepping your other ingredients you can go ahead and get your oven set to 400 degrees and because this is raw potato we're working with and not a crust we're gonna go ahead and bake it pre-bake it for about 15 minutes I apologize, I don't have my handy dandy cameraman, aka my husband, with me, so I'm having to do this myself. The butter's melting nicely, and I'm just about to add my onions. Okay, the butter is ready for our onions, and while they are sauteing, you can go ahead and chop up all your other veggies. I've already beaten up the eggs. All I have to do now is add the half a cup of almond milk. And then it's not an actual measurement, but you're going to add your salt and pepper and your powdered mustard and your uh, pepper sauce. And I know I said um, I was doing almond milks to keep this dairy free. Obviously, goat cheese is not dairy free. Um, I just I try to steer clear of using milk half and half and heavy cream as much as possible and goat cheese is far less inflammatory for me since I stick to a mostly paleo diet. I can't really chop and video so I'm just going to show you. I've cut each of these cherry tomatoes into four pieces. So in half and then in half again. So I've done a rough chop on the spinach and I've laid the roasted red peppers out on some paper towels and we're just going to pat those dry and get out some of the moisture. You can see how quick it soaked through that paper towel. I've um, added everything to the egg. I ended up doing a teaspoon of pepper sauce and about an eighth a teaspoon each of the powdered mustard, the salt, and the pepper. I've also added the milk, so this is ready to go. All of my veggies are chopped. I did a rough chop on the roasted red peppers as well. Um, I've got about a half a cup of goat cheese, so you can add whatever kind of cheese. You can add a non-dairy, you can add um, cheddar, whatever you're, whatever you're wanting. And then my onions over here, they're translucent and they're ready to go. So right now we're just waiting on the quiche uh, crust to come out. Actually, what I've decided to do is go ahead and add the spinach to the egg mixture. Because I can, I can put the other toppings, they're smaller amounts. I can put those on top of the quiche. But the spinach, I'm afraid it might not mesh well if I just put it on top. So I'm going to mix that. It doesn't have to be perfect. You're just kind of going to get it covered with the egg mixture. And then we're going to pour that evenly on top of there. 
And then I'm going to spread that around and put my other toppings on. Look how stunning that is. That seriously looks like Christmas morning right there. So I'm going to finish this off by sprinkling a little bit of salt and pepper on top. Not much at all. It's less than an eighth of a teaspoon of each. And then we're going to pop it in the oven. You're going to bake it at 375. And I believe it's for 35 minutes. Might be 45. I was close. You're going to bake it for 40 to 45 minutes. So let me get my oven open. We're going to pop this in there. All right, I'll let you know when it's done. Okay, timer went off and it looks gorgeous. There's absolutely no movement, so the egg is completely set. Got a nice little bounce back right there. Yum. Okay, so it was completely done in the middle, and it is perfectly set and still very hot. That was steam on my camera. You see all those beautiful layers, though? All right, well, we're ready to eat. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for tuning in.